This figure illustrates a cross-sectional view of a typical double-acting reciprocating compressor. Starting our way from left to right, this reciprocating compressor comprises of an oil wiper packing, a piston rod, a rod packing, a piston, a set of piston rings, and a set of compressor valves. The mechanical component highlighted here in yellow is the compressor cylinder. A typical reciprocating compressor cylinder consists of a barrel, usually water jacketed, with a front and rear head. In some designs, the rear head is an integral part of the cylinder barrel. This is the case in our example. In others, it is a separate, bolted piece. These heads are also water-cooled. Cooling of the heads is needed to remove the heat of compression. Provision is made in the rear head for the pressure packing, as highlighted here. Suction and discharge valves are installed around the barrel, but in some designs, valves are installed in the heads. Compressor cylinders may be single or double acting. In the double acting arrangement, as in this example, the compression of the gas is carried out on both sides of the piston. In the single acting arrangement, the compression of the gas is carried out at either the head or the crank end, but not both. Keep in mind that all cylinders can be modified to provide capacity control or to provide openings for clearance pockets as well as internal plug unloaders. This will be discussed in detail further ahead in the compressor capacity control section.